What's up, good people? How are you doing? Welcome to Azimio Cast, episode 6. I'm your host, Christine Gare. And I'm your host, Umi. This is a political podcast. You did not know you needed. that. Juliet Nyabuto in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so today we have a very lovely guest, a young man joining us on the show today. His name is Cliff Mboya. And an interesting fact about Cliff is he's one of the youngest um, presidential candidates we've ever had. But in the previous elections, he ran for office in 2017. So we'll get into how that was and, you know, what has changed now because he is one of the strongest um, supporters of uh, our candidate. So, Karibu Cliff and tell us more about your experience. But first, introduce yourself. Come on, on a titles, or say me your title. Ambassador. Thank you very much. My name is Cliff. And I'm a leader without uh, the titles. Okay. Ah, well, uh, Sorry. You don't, have the, you don't need the titles. Okay. Uh, my name is Cliff Mboya. I'm a leadership and a youth mentor. That's the space I chose because of uh, my journey previously. Mm -hmm. What I've went through since 2006, joining the political circle, fighting for the youth space in 2006, 2013, and until now, has led me to say that if our, we had more mentors behind us or in our time, then maybe youth would have had it right. Mm -hmm. That's why I chose this now, the path where I'm, to, uh, I'm being a a leadership and a youth mentor in the political space Amazing. in Kenya and East Africa. Amazing. Thank Amazing. Quick question. Quick question. Yeah. Um, why Baba right now? Why Baba? Why Baba is because we are aligned in our vision, mm -hmm. in his ideology. Where we are at the country right now, the country is in the mood where we are saying as a, as a generation, we are saying we need things done right. We need some fixing. We have been surviving for too long. Yeah. And there's a mood in the country that's saying we need to fix in the nation. And Baba came up with a very good strategy where he's saying we need to heal the nation. Plus, while he's healing the nation, he has realized there are some mistakes that has been happened before mm -hmm. and he's starting to fix them. Mm -hmm. So automatically, his ideas, our ideas are aligned. They're aligned. And we're mm -hmm. now moving forward with that. Amazing. Yes. Yes, so good people. Yani to mengi atu kama tu na ingi andani ata tu jawambia shwe tu ni ni leo. But our short for today is modern juakali sector. That's what we're going to discuss today. And yeah, so stay tuned. Continue watching. Before we go to the modern juakali, mm -hmm. I just need to ask you one question. Mm -hmm. In 2017, Walrani, what are the challenges you faced? Because I'm imagining you're a young man, you're vying for president. Uh, Definitely people want a track record of what you've done and all that. What was the biggest challenge that you faced? I just want to know. Okay, the, the, there's always the challenges of uh, maybe the financial aspect mm -hmm. and uh, the, the kind of the right attitude. But you see sometimes it's about the timing. Leadership is about timing. Yeah. Yeah. If we had it right, 2017 would have been that moment because we are following the track, uh, the track record of what is, was happening across Africa. Mm -hmm. Across Africa, there was something going on at the Arab Springs, the, what was happening in Sudan. So it was not something like out of nowhere that a youth is coming to the, into the space. The, the journey had already prepared for us. There was a lot of signs that there's a transition for mm -hmm. the youth to join politics. I would say that uh, in our journey, I was lucky, I'm the one, one of the people, of uh, the young people who joined, uh, who shaped the discussion within politics, that I uh, was in the committee of uh, the PPLC, that is Political Parties Liaison Committee. Mm -hmm. And within that party, Political Party Liaison Committee, we forced that we ensure, when the chairman, or the chairperson was on Vinandetti, we ensured that we have a docket for the youth. It was amazing, not there amazing. Yeah, but today, as we sit here in, the, in that in that in that uh, committee, there's always a docket for the youth. Mm -hmm. So we, we 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 created some of these kind of uh, discussions, and then moving forward, now we said it's not enough. Can we move to to the higher level, where it's 
can we have a decision make in terms of presidential candidate? That is why in 2017 I was inspired to go into that. Amazing. Congratulations. I mean, that's a, I can imagine that's a very big experience you've had. So, um, just a question. Uh, we've seen Ali in the course of uh, Ali this month, some time back. Our candidate had talked about the deliberate changes he would bring in the in the Juakali sector. And looking at even even at our topic, we're talking about the modern day Juakali. Who we are talking about the creatives, the gig um, economy, the hustlers, the influencers. You know. So, in, what what really? I'm sure you've weighed your opinion on this somewhere. But I would want to maybe you tell our our viewers what exactly stood out for you in the plans that uh, our candidate has for the unskilled market. Okay, uh, this topic actually it it um, it kind of touches me in two ways. Okay. Because one, I am a creative. I, I am a, 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 a person who has gone through uh, the 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 RPL. Ah, okay. Meaning that uh, could you like define uh, for RPL, someone who doesn't RPL know? Is, is, uh, is, is a system of recognizing recognizing prior learning. Okay. What are some of the prior learning? In the education system, there is the education system where you ask for the certificate. Mm -hmm. Skills is also an equivalent yeah. of prior learning, but many many people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. And then there is also the the degrees and everything. So, for example, I will say prior learning, sometimes in, in Kenya we recognize degrees. Okay. We recognize locking out other people yeah. who have skills. Yeah. Those people who have degrees are, have a chance of getting a job than someone who doesn't have it. Something that you may, may not know, and most of us may not know even, that you may have a child in primary school, mm -hmm. He finishes or she finishes primary school. You don't take them through high school. Mm -hmm. You take them through a Tibet, uh, Tibet or the vocational tertiary mm -hmm. education yeah. systems, mm -hmm. like the polytechnics and those and, mm -hmm. and those. They get the certificate and then they work on a diploma. Mm -hmm. Then they go on a post diploma. Then they get to the university with the post di diploma. They get to the university mm -hmm. without going through the high, high, school. high school. Interesting. And and when did this like is it something that has always it been has there? Always been there. What, then why did my parents take me to yeah, yeah, to high school? Yeah. But now like those four years were it long. Is, it is now yeah. it is now time now where now the the the, the, the honourable mm -hmm. has recognised that we do not have to focus so much on, on the degree the because the, the the world is going to the blue economy. Yes. Where the blue economy, we are looking at the skills. We are looking at those yeah. uh, those kind of small, small, menial jobs. Mm. But they are also paying. For yeah. example, a, pl a plumber in in, in Kenya, may, in Kenya, yeah. may be paid so much small amount of but, money. Yeah. But in Germany, is being paid fifty dollar mm. per hour. Sure. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it is kind of turnaround for us to build that blue chip economy. And. Uh, and, uh, and, and for me, it's something that I, I will say, because, for example, when I finished Form 4, I didn't go straight into the job market. I started training as a computer, mm. ah. in, in assembling computers. That is where I started assembling. I started assembling computers, and before even I went to class, I'd already known any, everything about computer. computer. You understand? Without studying, Without studying computer. computer. Even in high school, you didn't yes, do comps? Yes, I didn't do comps. So you just really from learning, assembling from learning, from assembling it from like from workspace, practical, practical, practical studies, yeah, mm. and uh, it was at 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 job learning. Wow. So later on, when now I became uh, I grew more, mm -hmm. is when I started pursuing degrees, I started pursuing scholarships and stuff like that. Interesting. Because yeah. wow. actually, feel like like. Um, if we could do that, like what Baba is doing, which I really like, like I like that about Baba. Mm -hmm. I mean, like tapping into that, because I know there are people who, they didn't go to university, majority of the people, maybe they didn't go to university because first, maybe they didn't get to that grade for university. Because nowadays it's a bit lower. When I was in school, I mean, like, 
yeah. very high. So most of the people didn't go to university direct. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you didn't even have money to go to university. Because yeah. getting these things like help, like it was just a whole process for people to get. And yeah, so some of them could not afford to go to university. So unapata wamenda colleges. And they're skilled. When you go to, like there's a place I used to work. And uh, the people who came from this particular university I want to mention. And now the people who came from certain college and they studied the same thing. So you find that people from the college were able to, yeah, they do more because I was in charge of internship program there and I could see the people from colleges were doing more than people who went for four years in university. And in college they spent just two years. Yeah. And then you hear that when they were in the university, the cameras were not enough for them to practically do whatever now these guys are also doing here. Like they were not able to practice. So when they come to work, they're like, they know nothing about cameras. You give them, okay, go shoot, bring a story. They know nothing. But the people from college were like, they know everything. They will even produce from scratch to, you know, to taking it up on air. So I'm for Baba for this, Yani. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think it's, it's like a good, because if you look at even the uptick for TVET currently, mm -hmm. people run away because I mean, ambia tu you saw leo I end the TVET na I end the UON for example. Ata kambi a way mi shule a fundi na enda fun. Like they look down here polytechnics, they they belittle it so much. Yet that's where the skills and the money and the money is, cause with these changes then uh, you know that Baba is proposing I think it will also be a trickle down in in terms of the investments they're going to inject yeah. I'll, I'll and I feel like also because what happened and also the society the same we've, we've been talking about um we are in the uh, law school we are in law school we are in law school we are in law school grandchildren we introduce in law school we are Polytechnic. I'm at the polytechnic. I mean, you're doing medicine. What were you in? What are skills? What are you? I think yeah. the society should learn that. They, yes. They no, that's it's the beauty of this whole. Yes. The, the, the changes now. It means more money comes into polytechnics. Mm -hmm. More people decongest from yeah. urban universities. They go back to their homes. Because yeah. like, because polytechnics, if I'm not wrong, are devolved Advolved systems. Tibet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so every county has it. Every yeah. actually constituency yeah. has it. Mm -hmm. So if my county, for example, you have six constituencies, you have about four of them. Yeah. Meaning what would Arudu Konyombani, then yeah. more jobs are created, mm -hmm. more money circulates. You know, so it's 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 a trickle. It's a very ambitious um, idea. Yeah. yeah. Like you're not. Either you failed. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. It will be mystified that no. Very true. Very true. It's actually helped because some of us right now we can say we even we're even doing masters after. After. You know, because you have already had the skills and yes. and when you have the skills. You are far much ahead than it. Sure. Yeah, and you're able to use your skills to make to, money. To take you to get that master. Yes. So as in it even gives you confidence. Yes. Because generally speaking, the same way you say that if you even student has to come here camera, or college and a job to me a camera. You know the college one will come here and they'll be more confident. Yes. The university one at a kwa hey, maze at a realizing yeah, it's not about who or what, or yeah. the yes. at, it's yeah. about the skill. So again, there'll be that respect of this person has the skill. You have the knowledge, yeah. the books, but this one has the skill. I think demystifying the moral of CG, yeah, the norm of CG. Yeah. Yeah. And also the beauty about it is, uh, I'll give you an example. In, in when it was Kibaki time when they're starting to build the SGR, mm -hmm. and uh, the Chinese needed about 5,000 workers in, from Kenya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 5,000 workers could not be qualified according to, to mm. the what system they then. Because they don't have papers. They don't have papers. Don't, yeah. I mean. So they had to, the Chinese had to bring in people from, from China to do the welding. But I think uh, the government sorted it out by, 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 by training and giving those welders a yeah. certificate. So uh, later on we, we can see that most of them started Kenyan started having welders on board because look at how many Jokali places you can see welders. Now imagine you're saying you want to import welders because they don't have certificates mm. or certified by a certain um, 
Sasa wakiambua or they can't do that. Wale wanatengenzanga sanduku for for months. That is what now. Yeah. Exactly. No, but it's true. It's a whole market. <laughs> well, have you ever seen you've seen size for one admissions in Endela? Imagine that person who sells sandukus has more money. Yes, cuz a lot of kuje waambi at where you can't make your sandukus cuz I want a document. Yeah. I mean it's a very it's it's like it's thoughtful like you've thought of the person. And it beats the logic of these other ones who are saying kazi ni kazi when in, if they cannot bring such solutions to the table, yeah. why do you yeah. want to degrade people by giving them any job simply because they say ata wawo chukwa kazi. And then they are giving out uh, wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows, give yeah. Me, uh, yeah. Give me a jembe. Yeah. Give me a... Na mwenye alitengeneza wheelbarrow, atambua sitengeneze kama ana karatasi. Yeah, I know. So this is just reminding me of... Uh, let me take it back to high school, where there were the smart students. I mean, what were learned in a junior year, they were smart. Eh. So they were the smart. Tell my viewers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you are to try what were learned. So in high school, you'll find that the teachers, because someone is very smart, like this, that student who could pass all the sciences, yeah. and then now there are other students. Who could, they're very active in drama club, they're very active in music, like they're very active in this thing. You find that I think it started way back then, the way the society they live in the system, like when it comes to the system. So these ones who are very active on this side and then they come and fail maths. Uh, 40%, and 40% I think high. Like, you know, like, you know, they, were, they were being treated like Niao too. Yeah, you get. So, but you find that now after school, because this I compare, after school, you find that the ones who are really, yes, that the ones who are really doing good, like, you, you know. Because that's a skill, you are growing that skill. Look at it mm. this way. Okay. Every year there is 800,000 high school students mm -hmm. who leave high school. Yes. Only 100,000 goes to university. Where do the rest go? Where do the rest go? And this has been since 1990s. Look at the demographics and tell me how many population of people are out there. They're feeling that kind of weight you're talking about, yeah. that kind of pressure that uh, I didn't make it, he made yeah. it. But now there's someone talking about a reprieve on their, on their, on their topic. That's why I feel like this is something that it was needed like yesterday. Yes. Yeah, so I use watching. Okay, I feel like turning this into a motivational talk now. Because <laughs> if someone is watching us now and they feel like that, please don't feel like that. Because there's so much that you can do. You don't yeah. necessarily need to go to CG, which university. I'm not saying that if you have a chance, you don't go. Yeah. But you don't have to, like, Yani, you can do so much. If you have a ch chance, yeah. I'll tell someone, even if you have a chance, sometimes it's okay to postpone. Yes. Go and go something. pursue yeah. what you, you yeah that yeah. you feel like you know yeah. yourself yeah. and then come back and say i want to do this for me personally i'll say this when i went to the university my dean was asking me what do you want to study i told him i want to do leadership mm -hmm. he told me but you, you have not done any other 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 other, other courses, courses. Yeah. i said no i want to do leadership mm -hmm. why do you want to do leadership because that is what I found out. Yeah, passion. and that's your niche. Yeah. And you found and that it is at my, a young, yes. which is very good. And I and mm. and 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 he looked at it. He told me, okay, then we are we'll meeting. Yeah, I think it's a topic we'll have to pick up on at some point because yeah. of the confusion that um, I don't know if CBC will make a difference, but us who went through eight four four, maze unatoka unengia high school neurosurgeon. <laughs> lawyer by the time una malza shule you yeah. just want to finish yeah. school and then you go to you ubatike upate your grade mzuri unaenda na kifua doctor so dear for say you realize where bad then they start then there's that confusion so some toy na kwa depressed you know and then drugs and so it's good like guidance is i mean that's something that i has to be done so Hopefully, with informed mindsets like this, we'll be able to. And also, adding to what you said, I remember when I joined campus, I was loud, so people thought, my parents thought, ah, this one. Instead of doing um, arts, like being an actress, you're to support me, waste pesa, journalism, 
But you know, they didn't understand that this is a leader. Yeah. I'm going to be a leader. They mistook the you the verbal, yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone was saying she can be a very good journalist, she has it. Eh, if Kasekondia is a realize a man. With any eh, story. Because I was interested in politics, I'm like, I love it here. But mm-hmm. then I come back to class, I'm like, I I can't talk about it. I'm like, I don't have the vibe. Yeah. But later on, I had to relax and just do it. Because I you have to do it. Because yeah. you know, your parents are paying school fees. So and I think you're, you're here, you're doing what journalists do. You are in a political space. In a political space. Yeah. So, yeah, so I don't think they wasted it at exactly. all. But it, yeah, it gave me like confidence, yeah. camera movement, and all that, understanding all that thing, all those things. But again, we didn't have cameras in my university. I won't speak to the name. And yeah, you're in your queen. I know the university. Yeah, that university. I know that, that university. university. <laughs> but generally speaking, I wish parents would let children explore and choose. Because genuinely speaking, I would have done something like political class. I'm so sure but I would have enjoyed it. Place. Yeah, it's so never like too he late. Has, Him, he he's done his he's done his um, his uh, skills first. Yes. Ile hustle, yes. you know, and then figured out I like this, but this is not where I want to be. I want to leadership. When you do it with your skills, yeah. your skills now pays. Yeah. You can pay for your own school without having to worry your parents, parents. or stuff like that. Um, yeah, no, it's it's really important. Yeah, so. Click before we wrap up. Yes. Are you single? I'm sure there is someone. Because <laughs> 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 you said you said that. <laughs> I, I want to remain politically correct on that. I say I won't answer that question. Oh, it depends on who's asking. I'm a, you just say it depends on who's asking. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on who's asking. Clearly, that's the answer. So answer We've answered for, for you. Or no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> why, 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 why did he say to Christine, mm-hmm. it depends? No, it I didn't say it depends. <laughs> 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 I didn't so say it depends. Why does it depend? <laughs> Anyway, Cliff, don't worry about yeah, it. Don't no. think too much. It's just a, to the, it's the show. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for sharing your views with us and also you who's watching for watching. And uh, yeah, Kama Kawaida, like, subscribe, share, comment, let the conversation continue even on our social media pages. And until next time, good people. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.